Here we have a Renault Kangoo van and in this video I'm going to show you how you change the cabin filter. So there are videos like this on YouTube uh, but they're often for the European left-hand drive vehicles and on those the cabin filter is up on the passenger side on this side and you have to remove the glove box. It's a little bit easier on the UK spec right-hand drive vehicles because there's no trim under there to remove to access it. Uh, in this case this is an electric van so you don't have a clutch pedal so it's a little bit easier still but it's up under there. So if I shine the torch up near the steering column there I can just make that sit there you can see there's the little door and that screw has to be removed and then this flap removed. And for that you need a 5.5 millimeter uh, socket or a spanner unlikely you're going to find a 5.5 millimeter spanner but anyway that's what you need to remove that screw it's quite a short screw so not many turns to remove that and then grabbing the tag at the bottom there you can then pull the little door out and then you can remove the cabin filter and what you've got to do is you're just holding it at this part here so you've got to really squeeze this up and get it out so this is the full size cabin filter that is uh, in the vans from new it's made by Denso and the heater box is a Denso part and they come with these full size cabin filters so if you have one of these in your van it's obvious that the cabin filter has not been changed previously because Renault do not fit this size filter in when they do a, a filter change. These are the, only the filters that were fitted uh, in the factory. Well, the, obviously the heater box comes with this already in them from Denso. And you'll often find, because you've got to get... Where's the little door? There's the door. Because you've got to get this filter out of that aperture which is not much more than half the size you'll often find this gets ripped and damaged pulling it out they are a bit of a squeeze you've got to often destroy them but you know I've got this one out without destroying it of course um, but when you come to fit the new one it comes in two halves so what they've done is effectively split this full size one into two separate sections to make it easier to install and to uh, remove in the future. This one I've got here is another genuine Renault one so this is what Renault will replace it with so if you see these it is clear that it's had a filter change. Often you will get these vans and they've had multiple main dealer services and if you go and pull that out then it's quite clear that the cabin filter hasn't been changed previously even though it might be on invoices I've seen this many many times if it's got one of these it's the original factory one so here I've got some aftermarket filters so what you do is you slide the filter in taking note of the arrows and the tab wants to be on this side so it's sticking out of the access hole do not slide it in any other way where you would lose access to that tab because this one slides in and then drops down. You will then have a little plastic rail which you slide in and fit that on top of the bottom filter. And then again, this one has got to have the tab on this side and you slide that over the top and then the two will sit together replicating that original full size filter and you need access to both of these tags on this side so when the door is shut so generally this one you pull up like let's get rid of that you will pull up like that so when you push the door back in the future when you come to do another cabin change you've got access to both these tabs so you can slide this one out and then lift this one up and slide it out these two-part filters are readily available for many motor factors. Some of the cheaper filters don't come with a new plastic rail. Um, if yours is an older van, then it's not an issue because one of these will be in there already, which you just reuse. 
but if it's a newer van and it's the first service um, and it's still got the original Denso one piece then you won't have one of those. Uh, being an electric van in this case that is the only serviceable item in an electric van. Anyway, so that's it. If you found this video useful, please do click the thumbs up button. It really does help. It allows other people to see the channel. If you want to know more about electric vehicles, then do subscribe and have a look at the back catalogue of hundreds of videos now on the channel. And uh, that's it for this one. So I'll see you on the next video.